Hello, Louisiana Beer Reviews presents a special revisit, a special edition, Natty Daddy, the Natural Father, revisited with Ramen Express, introduced in 2019, lovingly made in the USA, Hodter, and spicier chili ramen, expressed by Chief Woo. No MSG, no dairy, it's Certified halal, if you need to know that, and it's certified kosher, if you need to know that. Produced by Palmetto Gourmet Foods of Columbia Highway, Saluda, Cali uh, South Carolina. Saluda, South Carolina. Um, I was looking at the website, and they were talking about how awesome it was, you know, that kind of thing. Hmm. Now, I tweaked it by putting some diced yellow onions in there, diced jalapeno peppers, some uh, Rouse's Louisiana style hot sauce, and at the bottom I put some Kerrygold Irish cheddar, aged cheddar cheese, aged cheddar cheese. So, yeah, it's not the pure product, but um, this was in the freezer for a little while, not too long. Natural Father, there's the older label of Natural Father. This is when they had a 6% for a while, but then the 8% the was the same label. It's just they tried selling a 6% at Walmart, and that didn't work out too well. I'm glad I got the bottle, the uh, can. Now, they do make bottles of Natty Daddy, but hmm, try finding them. I've got some other stuff on display here. All right, so we'll put that over there. Mix up all the... These spices, these things are usually not that hot and not that spicy like they say, but we'll see. You can kind of get a look at it there. All right, so now, Natural Father, 8% alcohol, 25 bitterness units, $1.49 at Maine's Market in Kenner, Louisiana, on Louisiana Highway 49 northbound, $1.49 plus tax. Might be doing some more Natty Daddy pairings. About 75 cents a can for the regular size, you know, well, that's not the greatest deal, but for convenience, it is a great deal. All right, so I'm going to put that over there because I've don't. i got that for display. All right, so on the beer, thick, foamy head, soapy head, clear golden appearance, clear as a bell. It's using barley malt, water, corn, let's see, water, corn, Corn syrup, rice, malt, malt extract, hops, hop extract. I think they use, uh, yeah, corn and rice. I don't know why they use both grains as the filler, but the, but they do in barley malt. Introduced what 2012, uh, the original natural light introduced in 1977, and then natural ice, which I buy sometimes, introduced in 1995. There was a natural Pilsner that didn't last too long. I never got to try it. I never saw it. I actually never saw it in the store. Okay. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> nice, clean Anheuser-Busch smell. Like they, there's like a house style with the, their beers. It's like the yeast gives it a house style. Kind of a headache in a can type of thing, and I don't say that in a negative way. It gives some people nasty headaches. It doesn't bother me at all, but it's sort of like a like a medicinal or algae type thing. Mold. I mean, I, I'm not saying this to be negative. I'm trying to describe it. But you notice it when you smell it. Okay, taste shows. Then you get the white bread, white bread crust. 
maybe like those rice cakes. Now they claim, they claim on the website they use the same exact ingredients as natural light, the original, but they just double it. So instead of getting a 4.2, you get an 8. So they don't quite double it, but that's what they're saying on the website. They just take natural light, which is very popular in the United States, and they just double everything, basically, to get it up to 8%. And they say it's all natural ingredients, no preservatives, no additives. That's what they say. Right? Some people tell me, it's a conspiracy. It's uh, the Trilateral Commission is trying to trick you. You know, it's all chemicals. And I say, okay, you got to produce some evidence, not just because you read it on a blog, but... Uh... All right, now the moment of truth. Oh, yeah, this is very good. Uh, I mean, I don't make a habit of drinking 8% strong lagers, but... Um... For $1.49, it's, it's all right. So, vegetarian, this is vegetarian, hotter and spicier chili ramen express. Well, I had some bake, three strips of bacon this morning, so that was my meat for today. Manda, fine meats of Baton Rouge, their bacon, beautiful stuff. Different consistency with these noodles than you get with um, Marishan and Nissen, you know, the top ramen. These are like thinner and flatter noodles. And those are rounded, more starchy. Huh. Is it hotter and spicier? Yeah, I guess it's, you know, relatively hotter and spicier, but relatively. It's not, I don't know why anybody would eat this and think it's super hot or spicy because it is not. But that 8%er is a good counterpoint to it. If you lived in India, probably like uh, Kingfisher 8%, the Kingfisher Strong, which I've never seen, or the Foster's Gold, which is like 8 We don't get Foster's Gold here. We get Foster's Premium Ale 5.5. Pretty strong. Same size can of Foster's, which is 25.4 instead of 25. That'll run you up. I know of one store that might still have it for $1.99, but usually run you about $2.50 a can. You won't find it for $1.49, no. And it's, you know, marginally better than Natty Daddy, I guess. Yeah, it is. So ESB, you're, you know extra special bitters, ESB, but different, you know, a lot higher bitterness units. But the Natty Daddy's good. I mean, it's, it's not my kind of thing. Like I said, it's a little bit too strong, 8%, but clean, crisp, sweetness level. Um, let's say three and a half out of five sugar cubes. A little sweet, a little bit too much on the corn sugar. Nice lacing there, look at that. That lacing, that's a sign of quality, I think. Bitterness. Um, it's probably about 17 bitterness units on paper, but in reality, you're, you're, what you're tasting is probably one out of five hop cones. It's not any kind of hop. It's malt, bread, sweetness all the way, you know. Just think of white bread, you're eating white bread. Mm. Is this a healthy lunch? I mean, I don't know about healthy, but it tastes good. And, and I think the diced onions and the diced jalapeno pepper really enhance it and that Kerrygold aged cheddar definitely does not hurt. Yeah, interesting product. Uh, would I buy other um, Ramen Express varieties? I certainly would now. What was the price? It was like oh, for one pack 
Uh, 75 cents, probably too much, you know, too expensive, but I can't remember, but it was, if it would have been too, if it had been too expensive, I wouldn't have bought it, you know. I'm not paying a lot for ramen noodles. But I'm glad about this. So I probably can go rummage for the receipt and find it, but... Yeah, if you see uh, Ramen Express, check them out. It's an interesting alternative to uh, Top Ramen and uh, Marishan. Can't say it's better. I don't think it's worse. Just something different. Well made. Don't know. Never had it. Got a great deal on it, though. We'll try it from Diageo, makers of Johnny Walker and Crown Royal. Secret 7 Crown. Got a good deal on this. Everybody was selling it for $27.99. I got it for $13.99 from Ezra Brooks, the new higher proof bourbon cream. Definitely want to try that. All right, so this is an A90. Yeah, it's a 93 out of 100. It's the most excellent. This one. It's not for me, but I mean for regular drinking, you understand? It's, it's for me for once a month. Maybe twice a month I could tolerate it. Everyday drinking, I never do it. I would never ever consider drinking an 8%er as an everyday drink. I would drink natural light, 4.2 every day. Yeah, I would do that. It's an A. I mean, it's well made. I go to 9. They're both a 93, so... There you go. Good product. All right, so, and I have a feeling these will be good because they're from reputable companies that brew, you know, this dis distill all day, every day. All right, so Les Ailes Bon Temps Relate. Interesting uh, experience here, and I'm going to end this by saying y'all go to St. Louis, Missouri, and take a brewery tour. And they do show Natty Daddy on the tour. They're not ashamed of it. Well, they show it, they don't discuss it. 